I was on the Bigger Pockets forum and noticed a California investor looking for some help. He has three single family homes, two rental property purchases, and one primary residence purchased in conventional loans. He has some amazing interest rates on these properties. One he has at 4.5% and the other one at 2.5%. His goal, he wants to move these properties out of his personal name and into an LLC. However, his primary concern was to keep his low interest rates. Is there a way to transfer the property out of his personal name into an LLC and still keep those great rates? I read all of the responses and I wasn't impressed. I'll explain what I think John should do, but let's lay out the three primary challenges he's facing. First, let's answer John's primary question. Can he transfer over his properties from his personal name into an LLC while avoiding problems with his lender? Yes, but if you move a rental property from your personal name into an LLC and you use conventional financing and it's not a Fannie or Freddie lender, you could have your lender call your note due under something known as the due on sale clause. In order to pay off the 2.5% mortgage, John would now have to refinance into what would now be about 7%. And I'm guessing John's properties would no longer be profitable when his interest rate nearly triples. A lot of investors argue that the due on sale clause isn't that big of a deal because it's likely that the mortgage company wouldn't even notice the transfer. But even if that's true, John still has two other major problems. Two thirds of states in the country assess real estate transfer taxes for moving a property from your personal name into an LLC. And unfortunately, California is one of those states. If you don't know, a transfer tax is a tax assessed by many states when you transfer property ownership from one person to another. And technically, transferring a property from your personal name into an LLC is a transfer of ownership and can trigger the tax. States imposing this tax can range anywhere from 0.2% all the way up to 3% of the value of the property. Depending upon the value of John's properties, he could be paying thousands and thousands in transfer taxes. Now, if John has amazing properties that keep rising in value, paying the transfer tax one time may not be that big of a deal. But his final hurdle may force John to pay the transfer tax multiple times. The problem is that John won't be able to do a refinance or a cash out refinance while the properties are owned by an LLC. Underwriting guidelines for lenders providing conventional loans don't allow you to do that. If John wants to proceed with a refi, the lender will force him to pull the property out of the LLC in order to complete the refinance, which will then trigger that transfer tax. And then when John finishes the refinance, once he wants to move it back into the LLC for asset protection, he will be taxed again. And remember, this is California. John's property values are only gonna go higher and there's very little chance that that tax rate is ever gonna be smaller. So what should John do to get these properties out of his personal name and to not get into any trouble? A land trust is the solution. A land trust is a simple grantor trust that holds property. Put simply, a land trust involves three parties, a grantor, a trustee, and a beneficiary. John, the owner, can be the beneficiary of the trust, and then a third party or an attorney can be the nominee trustee that resigns as soon as the property title is transferred. By doing this, John can take advantage of the Garn State Germain Act of 1982. This federal law provides that if you move property from your personal name into an LLC using a land trust, then it can prevent your conventional lender from calling your note due. Okay, so the due on sale clause is taken care of. And when you transfer a property to a land trust, there is no transfer tax. John owns the property and John owns the trust. But since the beneficial interest of the trust can be assigned into an LLC, John is able to avoid the transfer tax, but yet also maintain asset protection as though the property were owned by the LLC. Okay, transfer taxes are taken care of. At this point, John can't do a cash out refinance because the beneficial interest is still in the LLC, but that's an easy fix. John can reassign the beneficial interest from the LLC back into the land trust and then do what we call restate the trust, which means to change it from a land trust to a living trust. He can then hand it to his lender, approve the refinance. Once it's completed, come back in, change it back from a living trust to a land trust and reassign that beneficial interest back into the LLC. All of this while avoiding any real estate transfer taxes. Is John done? Not quite. What John may not realize is that California LLCs are borderline worthless. 
Unfortunately, some states, like California, are so plaintiffs friendly that you're still vulnerable to a lawsuit even if your property is in an LLC. If John wants to make it extremely difficult for an attacking attorney to get any money out of him, he should consider more advanced asset protection strategies. And if you want the same protection, check out my most popular video where I introduce to you my favorite asset protection strategies. See you over there.